one and I stand on that You and me, babe, that's black on black Let me give you a little insight into 2024. We're going to be bringing back five minutes of Trump. And I'm going to start it. I'm going to kick it off today. Oh, oh. Go ahead, Smith. Uh, do you have it? Wait. You know what? 866. Okay. Look, look. I just sprung it on him. I'm going to see how nimble he is. He's, it's the holidays. He got a lot of. Now, now you, you used to used to do that when he was president. Yeah, now, are you it. saying something? Am I saying something? Yeah. Are you saying something? Yeah. I'm saying something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm you. leaning in. Yeah, I'm I, saying something. I I'm hear saying something. You. I had a I had an hour and a half long talk with this uh psychologist last night, um, who uh is in Ohio and his specialty is black men, trauma, this and that. He said forty percent of black men in Ohio voted Republican. Forty percent for zero. I, I, I said, wait it. a minute. No, but you know, when he broke it down, I was like, Oh, it's about to be different. Like and ain't nobody really prepared or, nope. you know, and, and I don't want to waste my good God given breath trying to convince people something that they in their hearts and spirits and minds are already. I'm going to do what I'm going to do, but I, I, I see the thing that's happening. So what I'm going to lean into heavily is complete and utter disrespect. So hit it, Smiz. <laughs> And now, I love the poorly educated. It's time for. Oh, look at my African American over here. Five. Look at him. Minutes. Are you the greatest? You know what I'm talking about? Of Trump. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. Five minutes of Trump. I'm a very intelligent person. With Karen Hunter. Okay, so there's a former uh, congressperson, I think, uh, Adam Kinzinger. He has been out. He tweeted this. He tweeted this. So today, Trump stinks was trending. It was trending. He said, I'm genuinely surprised how many people close to Trump haven't talked about the odor. It's truly something to behold. I mean, excuse me, wear a mask if you can. If you're around him, wear a mask if you can. That's what he tweeted. And then that elicited a lot of other people talking about his body odor, including a former apprentice staffer. His name is Noel Castor. Noel Castor had this to say about Donald J. Trump. Play it. The diapers is not a joke. It depends. You know, diaper Don is trending, but it's based in reality. He would often soil himself on the apprentice set. He's incontinent from all the speed, all the Adderall he does, the cocaine that he's done for decades. You know, all that stuff has a laxative and it has an effect on your on your bowels and his are uncontrollable. He's worn diapers since probably the 90s but i saw it firsthand in the 2000s on celebrity apprentice in late 2000s and we'd have to uh stop the show and and change him you know and that was keith schiller's job he would take him off set he would wipe him down our nickname for keith was wet wipes it's not a joke it's happened several times and um you've seen it happen while he's in office you've seen he was in the oval office with erdogan and you could clearly hear him sort of evacuating himself. He did it in front of Senator Feinstein, uh, Diane Feinstein at a, uh, at a press conference. So he, he does it and he almost sits there like an unaware of it, you know, and I, one time I saw Ivanka have to go kind of whisper in his ear and then Keith came and took him off stage. He'll also do it in a rage. And this is where it gets really drug related. He'll start to freak out. You know, one time there was the word arbitrage on a cue card. And he started screaming that the, you know, the script department was setting him up. You're setting me up. And he just freaked out and then very loudly evacuated his bowels. And you could smell it, you know, and the guy who was holding the boom bike, Mike, you know, was tearing up. So uh, that's where the nickname, the S-H-I-T show came from. That was the crew nickname for Celebrity Apprentice. So when you hear Diaper Don, it's not a joke. He tries to hide it. I'll give you one more fact. If you look up the video of him when he was doing the WWF thing, he, he tackles a guy on the ground outside of the ring, and you can clearly see the outline of the Depends in his pants. And that was back in the early 90s. So he's lost control of his bowels. He's lost control of his brain. That's who he is, Diaper Don. Okay. Oh, that is beautiful. That is outstanding. Yes. Well, this you know, is an old clip. Um, How old and, is that and clip? No, no caster, I think it's a couple of years old. No oh, caster, old. Yeah. apprentice, uh, former apprentice. Uh, he also now does some stand up. So, so there's that. Um, but my question is, if Donald Trump's smell 
was a cologne, <laughs> what would be the three ingredients? So you know how cologne has, you know, uh, maybe some some sage and some saddle and a little, little hint of wood, you know, okay. yeah. you know how they blend the what are the three ingredients that would be and I'm going to go to break. I'm going to let you all think about it. Three mm. ingredients that would be in a Trump cologne. If, if Trump's smell was a cologne, what would be the three ingredients? 866-801-8255 <laughs> is the number. When we come back, Lamont King is here. Uh, I'll start. So three mm. ingredients in a Trump body odor cologne. All right. Uh, and I'm stealing this from somebody. Um, mm. Use diapers. Ooh. Wrapped in haggis, dipped Ooh. in cat piss. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah, that's good. That's close. To, right. I was so mine is a, a a hint of corn. Okay. Corn. Okay. Some mm-hmm. some kitty litter. Okay. Kitty litter. Okay. Yeah. Used or yeah. or fresh out the box. Uh, definitely used. Definitely used. Used yeah. kitty litter. Okay. Yeah. Pre pre used. Pre used. Uh, gently used. Like you know. You gently know, used. Okay. Yeah. And, <laughs> okay. And 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 uh, oh, do number two. Okay. Do do. Okay. Oh, okay. do number. Right. You know the, how on yes. the thing is a oh do toilet. Oh, oh do, do toilet too. Yes. Yeah, right. For, for I, I was going with with urine urine one as well. You know when okay. you brought the cat pit, but since you used that, I'll skip that one and say uh, orange. You know, orange. Okay. reminds like, me of that. You know. Um, okay. Like a real like a orange. Like a that's a orange that's a pleasant. That smells good. Maybe a rotten one. Maybe a rotten trying one. to make them smell good. Uh, that's right. a cocaine. Cocaine. Okay. Okay. What does cocaine smell like? Oh, I've smelled it. I don't yeah. know, but I feel like people that know cocaine would know the smell when they, they smell they it. Definitely I feel would. like that's pleasant yeah. though. So if you know and what then, cocaine smells like, you would be very and would, oranges, would, and, oranges, and yeah. Cocaine. And then lastly, Big Macs, Big Macs. McDonald's. Okay, that yeah. those are all very pleasant Appealing. smells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I want to make money off of it. I'm, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all, right. y'all okay. not gonna make no money off y'all. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. What's, who who got Badusi? Is it? But we, Badu? but we don't know what the three of those together might be, though. Yeah, now I, I might like, not be the yeah. most appetizing yeah. smell yeah. once you combine them, but I'm. Just, I feel I'm like starting... if you do the cocaine first. Mm. The yeah. rest of them are gonna be all right. I feel mm. that's what I'm saying. I feel and like I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some money off of this. Well, see, no, okay. Rod is Rod is you. thinking he's, he's thinking smart. long term because you can yes. wear and ingest. Yes. Yeah, exactly. right, 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 right. I see yeah. you, Rod. Rod be Nord it, wipe it. Yeah. Yo, I was thinking <laughs> belly <laughs> button, lint, <Yeah>. you know, <laughs> white behind the ear with a what little bit of smegma. One of them forty percent of uh one of them forty percent of black men Ohioans go out to call in. Yeah, because uh, they know, because they know what they it's know. Oh. Like. 